Hello all, welcome to openmentor.net. In this session, we are going to see some of the cell formatting for the date values and uh, currency values. If you look here, this is a date field. I have uh, displayed in um, dd-mon-yy. Suppose I want to format this in a different way. Select the cell, right click, then format cells. The same way you can do formatting using some of the styles and other formatting menus also. But right click format is uh, pretty easy. Now this is a date field so you can choose this date whichever way you want this to be displayed you can do that. Now I want this to be displayed in uh, for example in this fashion dd dash mon dash y y y y right now it shows only two y y just the year part last two digits of the year now I choose this if I click now look at this that cell has been changed but the other cells were not changed if you want to copy the format to this cell all you need to do is select this cell this is something called format painter copy the format then click on the other cell. Now this cell and this cell are having the same format. But if you want to copy again and again just double click then click on it, click on it, click on it. Then click once here. When you do a single click on this icon it copies once then paste that format only once. When you double click as long as you uncheck this one it will keep on uh, copying the format to other cells. So right now you have this or you can select the entire column and then change the format that is also possible. So you can choose whichever date format the way you want to enter over here. Now this is the amount I want this to be like a currency this is a number. Suppose I same method if you want to change the format right click format cells you can either use number or currency okay when you use currency you can use symbols okay you can use symbols these are all the three digit or three character international currency codes like USD is Europe now if you want to have the rupee rupee Hindi right you can use this now this says this rupee sign comes over here how many decimal places you want whether you want two decimal places or one decimal place you can choose the number of decimal places it will display like this the 5000 will be displayed with this symbol now I click OK now this has been changed you see the symbol then automatically it puts the comma and the dot you see the three decimal places same technique if you want to copy this double click you can just highlight all these things all will be changed in one shot then unclick it. So you have got the amount changed with a different currency sign. You can choose the currency sign or you can uh, unchoose or you can unselect that currency sign whichever way which is suitable for your reports it's your option. Now what we have done is we have formatted this report the way we want it. Suppose I want to go here and then say right click change the format select again format cells I just want only two currencies, two decimal places and I don't want any symbol just click OK. okay. This cell has been formatted like that. Double, cl double click, select all these cells. Now all these cells were formatted the same way and you can save this file. So we have formatted this, we have formatted this amount. You can choose the currency symbol or you can choose the decimal places, number of decimal places, whichever way that you want, it's your option. But end of the day, at all, in most in every project or in every company, people will ask totals. Suppose I want to have a total. So how do I total this? So if I select all these things, at the bottom you are seeing sum, but this is displaying at the bar, at the status bar. But what I want is the sum has to be shown right here. If you want to do that, very simple, do one thing, go to this cell, this is a formula, 
we are going to see formula in a different session but just to have sum just put equal to sign type sum the moment you said equal to sum this becomes a formula then it says whichever cells it says adds all the numbers in the range of cells I want to have the range of cells okay now I say I open the bracket the moment you open the bracket then you can select the cell using the mouse keep the left mouse down select the cells automatically it says D2 to D6 then put the close bracket hit enter now you see the sum appearing over here suppose I change this instead of 350 to 300 automatically this sum changes you don't have to calculate now I change this to 500 automatically it formats automatically it does the sum so this is a very simple formula everywhere you will be using this sum uh, because in financial reports in any report people have to provide the total subtotal or totals at the end of it so it is easy to calculate the total value by doing a formula equal to sum within brackets the cell range so now if I say I can directly go and then edit here also if I simply say DT to D5 then this amount is not calculated because this is D2 cell D2 D3 D4 D5 and our formula says calculate the values total value from D2 to D5 so these D6 is not included so if you want to have the total of all the above make sure that you have selected all the relevant cells so that this total represents all the cells above that so in this session we have seen how to format date how to format currencies with decimal places with currency symbol how to have a total at the end of the report with that we end this session thank you for visiting openmentor.net